Mr. Cushman, San Diego County Water Authority. Uh, thank you, and good afternoon, Chairman Eisenberger and members of the council. I'm Dennis Cushman, Assistant General Manager of the San Diego County Water Authority. The Water Authority strongly supports the co-equal goals of ecosystem restoration and water supply reliability in the Delta and supports a Bay Delta fix. The Water Authority strongly supported the 2009 legislation uh, that created this council and the other reforms on, uh, surrounding Bay Delta. We lobbied hard for the passage of each of those bills. We're very proud that the San Diego County delegation provided a great number of votes, each of which was necessary for the passage of each of the bills in the Bay Delta bill package. On January 16th, the Water Authority joined six other water agencies, East Bay Mud, San Francisco PUC, the Contra Costa Water District, Alameda County Water District, and the City of San Diego and Otay Water District in a letter that asked that the BDCP fully analyze the portfolio approach as an alternative in the BDCP process and its analyses. Our request for an evaluation is not an endorsement of the portfolio approach as the solution or project for fixing the Bay Delta. We are simply asking that it, the portfolio approach, which combines conveyance project with more south of Delta storage, investments in local water supplies, improvements to critical levees uh, that will be needed to improve dual conveyance uh, through the Delta, and improved regional coordination and water management along with the habitat restoration be evaluated as a comprehensive package as an alternative. We believe this approach holds the promise and the potential to achieve the co-equal goals at a lower cost, save billions of dollars freeing up limited financial resources for greater investments in local water supply development, to lessen opposition to a conveyance project in the Delta, to be easier to permit and critically more likely to actually be built, and to be built and brought online much sooner than the larger proposed preferred project. While we believe the portfolio approach holds the promise to achieve these worthwhile goals, we won't know for sure unless it's evaluated in equal measure to the facility-only alternatives now being considered. It has long been the policy of the state of California to reduce demands on water supplies in the Delta. That was at the very core of the 2009 Delta reform package. In the early 1990s, to give you a perspective of, of how San Diego has reduced its dependence on the Delta, uh, San Diego County relied on imported water supplies from Metropolitan Water District to meet 95% of all water used in San Diego County. Over the past 20 years, the Water Authority and its 24 member agency, retail agencies, have implemented a, implemented a water supply diversification strategy to improve our region's water supply. Over that time, two decades, we have reduced our purchases of supplies from MWD by more than half. This is real reductions in purchases of water. Metropolitan supplies of the Colorado River and the Bay Delta. So this is a direct tie to the Bay Delta. In 1991, we were buying 552,000 acre feet of water for Metropolitan. In years around that, much more than that. By last year, 2012, cut in half, 274,000 acre feet. By the end of this decade, 231,000 acre feet. We're not alone in reducing our reliance on and purchases from Metropolitan. All of Metropolitan's member agencies are investing in greater local supply development and conservation. MWD has already experienced a 30% sustained drop in water sales and has reduced its forecasts in the future significantly, more than 20% from its earlier projections. And its member agencies have aggressive plans to further reduce their purchases of water from MWD in the, in the future. One of the key features of the portfolio approach is its recognition of this significant local supply development already underway and even more planned at the local and regional levels. The graphic that we handed out earlier shows what those plans are in Southern California. Uh, this is, uh, as this graphic shows, Metro these agencies, Metropolitan's 26 agencies, in their 2010 urban water management plans filed with the department, project have, have identified up to 1.2 million acre feet of new local water supply development just in the Met service area, but it's significant. Metropolitan is roughly half of the state and, water and project. these are from a combination of sources, runoff, uh, recycling, demand reduction. Yeah, I mean, you, just the host, the range of, yeah, of things, right? The specifics are on the back. Yeah. This is compiled from those 26 urban water management plans of the Metropolitan member agencies. 
Of that up to 1.2 million acre feet, 415,000 acre feet are in their plans. They're pursuing those those uh, projects now. Urban, uh, current urban water management plans. Correct. Another 800,000 acre feet are projects they've identified as potential projects to bring online between now and 2035, the horizon, 25 year horizon of the 2010 urban water management plans. Um, what does that mean? Well, it means that future water demands that will be met through local water supply development projects are instead being considered uh, as future demands on M MWD's water supplies because of that 1.2 million acre feet. Metropolitan Water District has put in its 2010 Regional Urban Water Management Plan has considered only 103,000 acre feet realistic. And I'm going to give you an example of a plan not in Metropolitan's Urban Water Management Plan, meaning that, that if Metropolitan doesn't recognize this million acre feet, they're considering that a future demand on what? A future demand on Metropolitan and, by extension, its sources of imported supply. Colorado River's tapped out, aqueduct is roughly full. That's really demand on the Bay Delta. Case in point, the Carlsbad Seawater Desalination Project, which is now under construction in San Diego County and will be online in 2016, producing 56,000 acre feet of locally produced, highly reliable water supply, is not incorporated in Metropolitan's water supply demand projections. That is but one project not evaluated, not considered to be real in the demand projections being estimated for water supplies coming out of the Bay Delta. The portfolio approach recognizes the increasingly important role that local water supplies play and will play in meeting California's future water demands. We believe those plans should help inform the key decisions, the critical decisions that will be made here in this town about the size, scope, and cost of a Bay Delta conveyance project. The portfolio approach also recognizes one critical reality for water agencies. Money is not unlimited. And ratepayer tolerance for rate increases, of which they've experienced unprecedented increases in the last 10 years, is also not unlimited. As we sit here today, we do not know if the portfolio approach or something that looks like it is the right solution to the problems in the Delta. But if the portfolio approach can achieve the co-equal goals at a lower cost, if it can create additional south of Delta storage to capture more water in wet years, if it can free up billions of dollars for local supply development and conservation, if it can improve critical Delta levees that will still be relied upon for through Delta conveyance, if it can reduce opposition to new conveyance in the Delta, and if it could be built sooner, then wouldn't it be wise to perform the analyses now so that it remains a viable option to help meet California's future water needs? We believe the answer is yes. Thank you. Mr. Nordhoff, I thought you